Edwards and I am a senior in the instrumentation program at Lee High School. Instrumentation is a dual credit program with Lee College and I've gathered over 60 college hours and I will graduate with my certificate as an instrumentation technician level one. One of my favorite activities has been working on the process simulators where we got to calibrate transmitters and get true hands-on experience. One of the many benefits of being in this program is that you get to troubleshoot real life situations that will occur in the plants. When I finish this program, I plan to use the knowledge that I've gathered over the past three years to pursue chemical and electrical engineering. As an instrumentation technician, it is your job to manage and control processes in the plants. There are even instrument technicians who are working on the roller coasters at Fiesta, Texas. On a normal day, as an instrumentation technician, my day level instruments, pressure, and flow instruments before they go out to the field. Prior to coming to ExxonMobil, I was a math teacher, and instrumentation involves a lot of math through calibration and troubleshooting, and I wanted to continue that path of using my math skills as a profession. My future goals in this profession is to become a supervisor and pass my skills along to new technicians as they come along. Uh, my name is Victoria Kolkol and I work at the ExxonMobil Baytown Area Complex and I've been with the company for two years. Okay. A normal day at ExxonMobil as an instrument technician, we begin the day by discussing the work orders. Um, we continue with our safety meetings and we then work with different departments in discussing the jobs that we'll be uh, working on for the day. Me and my husband were uh, leaving the military and I happened to get in touch with a veteran organization that was familiar with ExxonMobil and they introduced me to the craft. So that's kind of how I came to work for ExxonMobil. Yeah. Did you have this in high school? No, absolutely not. Yeah. No. We had I mean, yeah. and Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> it was that's job. Right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And we weren't even exposed to anything like this either. Like, I didn't know there was all this out, you know, in the world or even as a possibility. Like, maybe being a female, you know, also, like, had an impact on how little I knew about trades and crafts. Um, so, an advice that I have for students coming in to the instrumentation craft or any craft of that is to take advantage of what is being afforded to you. This is a great start of your life. Um, although college four years degrees are awesome, they're not for everybody and that's okay. Uh, just know that this is another opportunity to build a great life for yourself. Hi, my name is Wally Collins and I am an in instrumentation instructor with Lee College here in Baytown, Texas. Uh, I'm also a dual credit instructor that that teaches dual credit instrumentation at Robert E. Lee High School here, right next door to Lee College. Um, I've been in the business a little, little over 45 years. In 1981, I joined ExxonMobil as an instrument technician, and I worked until I retired in 2014 with a little, right at 34 years of service. Uh, during that period of time, I've been able to look at construction, look at maintenance, look at all different types of instrumentation. Now my, my role here at Lee, uh, Lee High School is to uh, introduce, to teach the basics to our young students that are in high school looking for a good career once they uh, exit high school and finish their program at Lee, Lee College. Uh, this program is set up to uh, make one a, a marketable trainee uh, one to uh, give them some advantages to understand what the job is, to understand a little bit about some of the science and mathematics and uh, mechanics behind the job. Uh, today, uh, industry is hiring more and more people. They're looking for qualified folks, and I believe this is a good place for uh, our students.